Hello, I am Petra de Sutter and I'm a Deputy Prime Minister of the new federal Belgian government. Well, <laughs> I'm um, a medical doctor and I have entered politics in 2014 and I have had a lot of change in my political career starting in the Senate, in the Council of Europe, in the European Parliament and now a member of the new government. I think change is essential, especially in these times of crisis. We are in the middle of quite some challenges uh, like climate, of course, climate change, um, the corona crisis, uh, which we are in the middle of. Um, but many others and social economic consequences of these crises. And I think change is important uh, because we need to use specifically the COVID crisis as an, a momentum to get out of uh, old um, business as usual, old patterns uh, that uh, determine our economy, our politics, and really look toward, towards the future if we want to be CO2 neutral in 2050 and uh, achieve uh, uh, significant changes, uh, diminishment in the CO2 uh, um, emissions in 2030, this crisis uh, shows us uh, the way how to, to move forward. If we talk about recovery, it has to be green recovery, it has to be in view of the Green Deal um, ambition of the European Commission and also the digital transition that will have to help us. So it's all about change today. Well, the green movement indeed has um, become mature, uh, professional and uh, has already shown in many, many places that we are able to govern, to really take up responsibility and to you know, transform our programs, our dreams of a, a, a different world into uh, reality with, with all the problems uh, of compromising that, that go with, with it. Um, in the Belgian government now we have uh, held the pen in many chapters around uh, climate, uh, um, the Green Deal, so the recovery, uh, but also trans transport, mobility, energy, and we have ministers responsible for these uh, domains. Um, this has been the most green uh, government uh, program ever and it has been acknowledged by, by everyone. Which it is also very logical because there is no other way of getting out of this crisis as I already explained. Um, I think everywhere in Europe we can see that green movements have evolved into political parties that can take responsibility. We can see the results also. Um, in Belgium we have um, many green governments at local level that have really made a lot of change and people can see that in mobility, in, in uh, quality of, of air, um, in, in a lot of domains that touch upon their daily life. So if people ask us, can we indeed govern, my answer is a full yes. Yes, well, um, following up on the previous question, I can say that Greens also um, can govern in other domains than the typically green domains, economy, finances and so on. And I have the responsibility for um, the civil servants and public enterprises, mainly um, connected to telecom and post. And I think, yes, also there we can uh, make uh, significant change um, to the advantage of citizens. Um, I think that uh, the, the, the state, if you wish, um, should be a partner of civil society, of citizens, of enterprises and that we should be facilitators and of course take responsibility where no one else does that. Um, so in my plans to trans transform the public function, civil service if you wish, um, I will emphasize, uh, of course, that it should um, also be part of the green transition. Um, and we will take advantage of the digital transition, of course, because we will go towards more telework and the post and internet company that I'm responsible for is extremely important in how we will live tomorrow, how e-commerce will uh, be established, how people will be connected. Uh, if we need to telework, if we need to um, have uh, education through, uh, through internet connections, it's clear that this really um, has to be developed much further than today. And we will do that in a, in a socially just 
uh, way. We will do that um, in an ecological, sustainable way. And there, um, I think the about 80,000 people working for the government in, at the federal level in Belgium um, are an immen immense group of creative, enthusiastic people that want to be part of it. And I will be very happy and proud to be their minister.